Hi guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here today I am building a room using the pastel pop kit. I'm not just using the pastel pop kit but it is the thing I use most. Um, I used a little bit of the new clutter kit also and I think a bit of the high school years pack. I might have used some other things I can't 100% remember. Um, yeah I can't remember at all but anyway I really, really love Plumbella and if you didn't know, she helped design the pastel pop kit and this pack is just perfect for me. I love pastels and the items are just super, super cute. I really, really love this style and I really love Plumbella also. So it was just a bit of a all around win-win. Um, Plumbella's videos are amazing. I love watching all of her content. I have followed her for quite a while and I just love that she is from the northeast of England and I am also so I think it's just great I love her so much but anyway into the build I used the high school years like boho looking bed and I have dropped it down into the platform not gonna lie have not play tested this at all so I don't know if this actually works but it's fine I'm just doing this because I wanted to play around and have a little bit of fun with the kit and design something um, but this high school years bed really works with the rest of the kit but I've put the backboard of it because it's more boho looking into the wall to hide it a little bit and I also use the side tables and I've dropped these down a little bit also because they were too high compared to, be to the bed since I dropped that down so I use tool mod for the bedside tables to drop them down but um, I just used a platform trick for the bed to drop that down. Also, this computer is the cutest thing ever. I know it's not a computer, it's a tablet on a little art easel. Why do I really want to do this now? I don't even own a tablet, but I really, really want to do this now. I really love the mirror also. At first, I was really confused. I was like, why is the colour swatches to this? Because I was looking at it straight on. Um, but it's when you rotate your camera, you see the colour around the rim of the mirror. And I think that just looks really stunning. And we don't have anything like that in the sims at all so it's nice to see something a little bit different i'm not gonna lie i'm a little bit unsure on the like carpet I'm, i think it's supposed to look like fluffy carpet and because it's not technically got real texture it's just made to look like it has texture i don't know how i feel about it i've used it anyway here but i think i do change it later on because i am a little bit unsure but i think it'll work really well as making it into a rug where you just use it for like six tiles say i think that might make it look a little bit better but yeah that's just personal preference i love like the fluffy rugs that are in the sims like the one from snowy escape i am um, i really really love i think i end up using this in this build but the rugs that come with this are super super cute as well I like that there's different swatches, there's like a cow print one, there's a flower print one, there's like a wavy lines one, there's a checkered one, and the colours are really, really awesome. Also, this bin, I love this bin, um, the fact that it looks like a, what do people say in America? Soda can, um, I would say a pop can. Um, I love the designs on it, especially the ones that have cute little animals on it, I think that's super, super cute. I also forget to put a door in here, um, so I do change things around a little bit later on because I'm an idiot and I was like, well, how are Sims going to be able to get in here? I say that, but I don't even know if the bed's usable. Um, if it's not usable, you could just click on it and it would just raise it back up to its normal height to be totally usable. And also the stuff on the side tables did keep disappearing. I think that's because I moved these down. So again, if you download this room, because I will have it on the gallery, if you just click on them in build mode, they will just go back to the normal height and everything would be totally usable but I really like using platforms I think it's really cool giving different heights to rooms these headphones these are from the new clutter kit I really really like these I wish there was a few more swatches and a few more pastel colors because I noticed there was a few nice color swatches in the clutter kit that sort of match the pastel pop kit like there's that little cup there which is a pastel color oh by the way if you're wondering what I'm doing there I wanted to freely place that little tablet and I couldn't because it wants to lock for each slot. So sometimes it's just easy just to pop loads down to cover all the slots and then you can place it anywhere. But yeah, I do wish there was a few more swatches on some of the things. That little drink bottle that is from the clutter kit and I love the color of that. I think it matches the pastel kit really, really well. As well as this little yoga mat thing here as well. And the kettlebell weight. I think I, do I change this chair? No, I might keep this chair. I can't remember what I do. 
do I kick this chair? Because I moved things around slightly, so I, I can't remember what I did. As well, I love the tiled look of these side tables and the um, longer like table, what's it called, a console table. I think they're really, really cute. And they were really in fashion, I feel like. About a year ago, I kept seeing them everywhere. I still really, really like them. I don't care if they're not in style right now. That really doesn't bother me. Um, I think they're cute no matter what. Again, the swatches of everything I absolutely love. I might be a little bit biased just because I love pastel colours. Um, I think they're really, really beautiful. Um, which is really weird because I was not into pastels a few years ago. But I really, really got into them recently. Um, yeah, I really, really love pastels. Oh, and if you're wondering what I've got here, this is stuff from the gallery. I can't remember. Are they called? They're called Coco or something. I will try to remember to link the person's name in the description, their gallery ID. They have some really, really nice no CC art. And if you don't know what no CC art is, you go into the gallery and you just, you can literally type no CC art and people have brought custom content into the game and got their Sims to pin something and then they upload that pin in to the gallery and anybody can use them and it's not custom content, um, which I think is really, really awesome. So yeah, I got the Care Bears one. Um, I love the Care Bears. I have a little Care Bears phone holder and a t-shirt. And I'm like, yeah, I'm an adult, but who cares? I want to have a little bit of fun. Leave me alone. Not gonna lie, the only thing I wish is there is some like more of the periwinkle bluish colour items. Um, but not as many as some of the other colours, like the pinks and the purples. I wish there was more periwinkle blue colours because it is like my favourite, favourite colour. I absolutely love it. And some of the periwinkle blue colours, like there was the bed that comes with it, which I didn't end up using just because I didn't want something with a footboard. I really like the bed though. There is a periwinkle blue colour headboard, but I don't like the bed sheets that match it. That's the only thing I really don't like about the bed. But everything else and the other swatches are really, really pretty. And that's just me being really, really picky. Like super, super picky. Um, but the rest of the kit is absolutely beautiful. And definitely worth £5 in my opinion. Um, I wasn't sure about the clutter kit. Um, I don't think that one was worth £5. I think it's because it's items I'm not going to use as much. And I also think if you have the high school years pack... This pastel popped kit works really, really well with it because there is a lot of that similar colour vibes going on, which I really, really like. And I've only just realised now, I didn't replace any of the lights and put lights in that I want. And that's what I always do. So you've just got these saucer lights at the minute. Before I upload it to the gallery, I will put some nicer lights in it. And I was trying to find a, a plant for this bit of corner of the room where the stairs are. But everything was just a little bit too big and wasn't working i don't do i end up putting anything there i don't know if i end up putting anything there because it's like it's a double wide staircase so technically you don't need that side of the stairs because your sims will walk up the other side but i feel like i ended up removing anything that i put there do i put i really can't remember <laughs> i've only just built this as well i'm editing this straight afterwards but my mind just does not want to work so I do go ahead and add a few things off camera. I think it was the rugs because I forgot to add them in when I was recording. So I just add a couple of rugs around the room. Like I said, I use the Snowy Escape one. I use one of the ones from the Pastel Pop kit. And do I use another one? I don't think, I think that might be it. I think I only use two rugs, one near the sofa, which I moved to in front of the bed. So it's time for the little walkthrough. We're just gonna ignore this again. Perhaps just because it's mod, just, just ignore it, it's fine. So we're going to walk into the room. I'm just going to zoom out because this is very close. And I did add rugs. Like I said, I have this little cow print one. I sized this down because it was a little big for the room. Um, and this is why we have some sticking through the wall because I used the high school years mirror and used tool mod to turn it straight against the wall. So we go down this side and we have the little computer area with this little um, tablet, which I really, really love. I love that there's a little pen here also. I think it just adds so much extra detail. And there's a mouse. I swear down, the computers, do they not have mice? I feel like you don't see the mice. I could just be tripping. And also the Himalayan salt lamp is so, so cute. I love the colors that it comes in. So we go back down here and we go up here. I did end up putting something here. I put this little tat, tat, cat plushie. Um, I size it down once because they're a little bit big until um, you size them down. 
whoa whoa come through here where the bed is i added the um my bookshelf i did i said i sized it down but it's still slightly too big for this room i think i'd have to go um slightly higher on the walls i did use small wall height for this but it's fine right it's, it's totally fine and I added a little dog bed down here and I did end up keeping it with this chair just because it fits really well with this bedding and the colours just match perfectly with everything in the pastel pops kit. So yeah, that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already, please subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye!